Hey guys, it's me, Fa Face Hugh, and today we're reviewing uh, this pen. This one's called Fountain Pen. Actually, I know this pen right here because I've never tried this pe fountain pen before. And then the parents think this will leak, but that's okay. At least my dad just got it. So we're going to look at the cap. You can see there's the, the cap, the nib, the feed, the barrel, and it has a transparent ink window. Depends how, I mean, to see how much ink inside when it's run out of ink. Actually, so this one's called, called Zebra Sensations Fountain Pen. That's why, that's why its name suggests. So let me try if I do a writing sample. Even though if I don't have a phone stand. Yep, I have a phone stand, so I can't even see there. So let's try if I... Um... Oh shoot, I can't. All right, hold on a second. And I have no idea to put something in there. Let me put it right there. There we go. So let's just open this cap. And then this one, you should be right like this instead of this. Here, I'll, I'll, here's the reason why. If you rotate this nib, this one won't write. So you have to be nib, nib face down. You see? You know how to write a fountain pen for beginners because this is just a disposable fountain pen. So you don't need a cartridge or converter. So that's why I love this fountain pen because I never have this one before. So that's why you can use it as a not not that's just not, not even a calligraphy calligraphy pen because it's just uh, the difference. Even though uh, this fountain pen is really good, even though you can write write a letter or just journaling, I don't know. Even though fountain pen can. Uh, it's not even even dry, dry and matte finish. You can see the fountain pen; it's smooth as rollerball, because it's rather than using the traditional ballpoint. Even though it's too viscous, even though it uses a uh, water ink right here. So, the real okay, guys. The real innovation is that it has a. Uh, it has a, it's called slip and seal cap to prevent the nib from drying out. You can see, see, that's the uh, slip and seal. That's why it's called that name right here. Because um, this is why that that why fountain pen users, yeah, the reason why the the fountain pen are drying out because people design. Yeah, in Japan. Uh, they designed this this fountain pen so it won't dry out because uh, it's really good right now. Even though I love this pen, I'm very really good at that. Even though I'm a good fountain pen user, because uh, I'm not a yeah I'm just a beginner friendly. Even though it's you know how to use this pen, you can see. Uh, it's a perfect writing. There we go. Alright, let's close this one out. You can see, okay, before we just uh, end this video, you can see... Uh, okay, hold on. can't even see where it is. You can see it says it's made in China. Sorry, this camera's blurring. All right, all right, guys. So you can see it's made of China as an ink level. So, you, so guys, if you are, uh, hold on. All right, guys. So, uh, if you do like this, you can see there's an ink right here, right in the in the feed. Even though it's really cool that you can see the color right here, and you can see it's covered with blue. Cause I choose my favorite color, blue, cause uh, it's my favorite. So uh, I'm gonna close this one, and it has a, a clip right here, even though it's not, whoops, 
even though it's not even everyday carry. So guys, so I noticed that fountain pen users, yeah, if you shake like this, don't do that one. Cause even though it's dangerous and I mean, yeah, this is not dangerous. It's just, uh, it's just washable, even though you can wash it with, uh, with uh, water and soap in case if you accidentally like this one right here. And okay. So this fountain pen can only store at horizontally, not like this. Only if if your if your fountain pen dry out, you can do like tip down in case if the in case if it's not working. Because uh, I got this my pen case right here. So uh, let me try this uh, black fountain pen. So uh, recently, my dad says that the fountain pen is not working, and then I do like this. Because this is the trick right here, even though it's very horrible. All right, let's put it back in the in the pen case. Let me just uh. This pen case is so bad. All right. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. So, uh, if you're a fountain pen user, you can use this fountain pen for if you're a beginner. So, uh, okay, guys. That's the end. So uh, be sure to subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I see another video. So uh, I'm gonna make uh, another video because um, I feel a little bit bored. At least I got 92 subscribers. All right, guys. So uh, I will I will see you guys later. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye and peace.